Welcome back to another Vintage Cube draft. Straighten this little beard out a little bit. All right, what's going on? Hope you guys are having a beautiful Labor Day because that's what it is. And then we're gonna look at this pack and take something cool. Is it through the breach? It was a custody lich, thieving skydiver, Rona. Little Rona. Baleful Strix. I love a Baleful Strix, but I feel like in my brain it's gone down a little bit because of uh, Orcish Bowmaster. <sighs> Who knows? I'll take through the Breach. I'm, I'm okay with Breaching. I also feel like I haven't seen Sneak Attack in quite a while. Breach gives me a good, a good little thing to do. Also, Grave Titan. I like a Gravy T. Also, like a preordain. Do we want to be blue, blue red, or black red? I was just thinking gravy tea is good to breach because you get four two twos. That's basically like an empty the warrens. I mean, then again, if you have six, you just cast it. It costs one, one, one more mana, you know. But you know, the sky's the limit. Preordain's also good. I like Grave Titan here because it puts us in black, which also lets us reanimate things. So I'm gonna go with black. She older, it seems very good. I think Liliana could be cool if we ended up reanimating, but we're not going to pass a She older here. Oh, well, now we're going to reanimate. There's also Flash, which is very interesting because Flash is good with a lot of the Through the Breach cards, like World Spine Worm. I'm going to take reanimate, though. I'm a fan of what we got so far. Oh, there's a Snappy Boy. Also, Woodfall Primus. Good with both Through the Breach and Reanimate. I would rather not take eight, but... Snappy Boy is not necessarily our color. We could also sideline it Through the Breach and just be blue-black, which I've really liked. I don't think Corpse Dance is great. It also says Exile instead of Sacrifice. I think it might be Woodfall Primus. Yeah, I'm going to take the Woody Fall. I think he's good enough. Shoulder is like my favorite lady in MTG now with the big old yeehaw mouth she got there. Yeah. Does she have a yeehaw mouth? I don't even see a mouth on her, to be honest with you. Oh, him to Torok and a Shallow Grave. And an Ulamog. I feel like it's got to be him to Torok here, especially because Ranimate can get their creatures. There's 10 cards in this pack. I bet Hard Evidence. I bet Containment Priest and Arbor Elf come back. I'm definitely going to take the him to Torok, though. That card's... It's him to Torok. I don't really have to explain to you why I'm taking it. Oh, Life Death. Great. Great. Just keep the reanimations coming. That's all we want.
I don't know what's going on anymore. Oh, the full art with the mouth on the belly. What's the hold up here? Oh, I like a Liliana. Also milling two cards. Not we could take Dark Confidant. Yeah, let's take this Thrilliana. Let's put this guy here. Because we're never that's not a three drop, let's be honest. Oh, Custody Lich came back. That's kind of cool. Hmm. Probably just Blood Crypt, though, right? Yeah, we're going to take the Blood Crypt. We're going to be responsible here. If we want it through the Breach. We could also just cut this and be uh, be green, green Black. And then we get to play Life, too, which is really exciting. It's not that exciting. I guess I don't love braids, but I'll take it. None of these other cards are that not good. At least it's a 3 3 with an ability, you know what I mean? If this said at the beginning of your end step, you may sacrifice an artifact creature, enchantment, or planeswalker, land, or planeswalker, or discard a card. This would be really cool. Yeah, I, I, I played braids once. And I never wanted to activate it. I'm like, I don't want to sacrifice any of my stuff. And like, even if you did, it's just not very impressive. I hate to say it. That is a late Yawgmoth's will. That I'll go ahead and take. Sure. Oh, Marsh Flats is fantastic. That's a really late Marsh Flats. Oh, Corpse Dance came back. That's exciting. Shallow Grave! That's what I was hoping for. Wow, that's great. We got Corpse Dance and Shallow Grave on the wheel. That's pretty cool. Also reset that sub goal for y'all. Um, Interesting, interesting. Some interesting. Mirror Battle Sphere. It's not the best to reanimate target, but it's okay. None of these other cards are very good as blue or black. And by that, I mean red or black. Mizium Warriors, I guess, is fine. Um, I mean, saying Corpus Dance is the weakest reanimation spell, so what I'd like to see it replaced with is tough, because I wouldn't want to replace it with another reanimation spell, per se. I just think it, it's a cool, flexible black spot. Like, Like, let me look at my cube real quick. Let me see what I got in here. I feel like it's just Battle Sphere here, which is really not exciting, but it's not the worst. Palace Jailer is great, I agree. Except Double White. <laughs> I think it's Battle Sphere here. It's it's not only castable, but like it's a fine. I don't want to first pick a. Oh, we're definitely Archon of Cruelty-ing. That's fantastic. And I have a feeling Archon Rider could come back very easily. Ration Rider, not Archon Rider. That doesn't make any sense. Infinite Gyre works quite well with a Through the Breach. Not sure if you guys knew that. We also do have Shallow Grave and Corpse Stance, which are instants, making uh, this a lot better for us. So, yeah, we're going to take that guy as well. Fallen Shinobi. Not necessarily our colors here. Proving Ground seems pretty good. So in my own cube, my reanimates are Shallow Grave, Makeshift Mannequin. I still have Makeshift Mannequin because I think it's totally fine. Um, reanimate. 
animate dead and necromancy. So there's like five, I guess. The two drop artifact is a discard. Yeah, this guy is. Well, so is Una's Prowler. I'd probably rather take Una's Prowler. But this guy does actually um, draw you a card as well, which is not terrible. I think we're just going to take the Proving Ground, though. I'd rather have reasonable mana. And I think since there's two of them in that pack, one will at least come back. But we're definitely taking Grief here. Grief is fantastic. Easy Grief. These are like two of the best black four drops that have been printed in the last decade. So that's kind of cool. Also, our only red card is Through the Breach right now, which is kind of comical. But I do think Archon, Willamog, and Woodfall Primus are all very, very good with Through the Breach. Oh, no. Got a sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Ugh. Oh, wow. Dothy Voidwalker seems great. God, Dothy Voidwalker is always fantastic. Yeah, that's a pretty easy Dothy Voidwalker. This pack is not super exciting. We're almost like mono black here, honestly. Um, I do like a Graveyard Trespasser. We also saw a Dark Depths going around. We could take Vampire Hexmage and hope it, hope it tables. I don't hate that. Oh, hell of a dude. What's up? Everything is going all right. Yeah, we'll take Vampire Hex Mage. Uh, interesting. Rankle is also a discard outlet, ironically. Is that ironic? I don't know. We could also take Ophiomancer and hope that we get um, Recurring Nightmare, which I think we're going to do. And there's an Urborg. And a Bolus' Citadel, which we're not super keen on. I think Mizium Mortars is totally fine as like a just a burn spell. Like I'm feeling kind of awkward because we don't have a ton of red cards, and I don't think that's just I don't think that's a reasonable concern. I don't think that means anything. I mean, I, I'm i not super concerned with whether Snuff Out Wheels or not. We're definitely taking Zealous Conscripts. That guy just wins games. If you get the Sneak Attack, though, this list goes... Yeah, I, I agree. If we get either Sneak Attack or... Um, Recurring Nightmare, I think we're in good shape. We also have a whole other pack, and I think we're doing very, very well, all things considered. Like, this is a solid 19 cards. Okay, Bitter Blossom action. Oh, and the Dark Depths is here, too? Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. I think I have to take the Bitter Blossom here. I think it's just so much better. Like, we don't have any way to really get Dark Depths, because we're black, black, red. Unus Prowler came back. Fantastic. Discard outlets a plenty. Like we're hoping to get recurring nightmare. That's the goal. So that's why we took. Wow, that's a late damnation. <laughs> snuff out won't table, they say. <laughs> well, last pick snuff out. Fantastic. All right. I like an Atali as well. Oh, also Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Shit. Oh, also Demonic Tutor. Uh, we're taking Demonic Tutor, I guess. Wow, if any, if either Brutality, Atali, or Fable Wheel, I will be very, very pleased. Let's take Vampire Hex Mage out. Burnout Titan's cute. This pack's kind of meh. Snuff Out was the 15th pick in that pack. Yeah. Wild. <laughs> oh, boy. I think you splashed Fractured Identity. I, honestly, in my head, I was like, how can I do that? Smuggler's Copter is actually pretty good with Bitter Blossom, man. We're trying to reanimate things. Let's take a Smuggler's Copter. There it is. There's your boy. <laughs> 
Jones. All right, so we're looking we're looking juicy. Oh, Orcish Bowmasters just for funsies. Um, yes, because it's just that good. Oh, there's a Splinter Twin. <clears throat> Casual Splinter Twin. I don't think we're gonna hit Recurring Nightmare, unfortunately. Um, I do like a Bitter Reunion. It works very, very well with uh, you know, reanimating things. I like a duress here as well. So my triome is nice, but we already have three fixing lands. I'm gonna take this duress. Yeah, I'm getting actually too many cards. I'm I'm getting overwhelmed. I think we can take out Mizium Orders. Um, I don't think we need Bitter Blossom unless we get Shh, Recurring Nightmare. I mean, Snuff Out's fine. Eh, Liliana the Last Hope is kind of mad, actually. Luris, do you do anything? Not really. Not a ton. Recast Voidwalker, Bowmaster, Prowler, Bitter Reunion, Smuggler's Cop. I mean, there's a lot, but... What a fire covenant. Pay X life, deals X damage to my main and target creatures. I mean, this is kind of like Toxic Deluge, right? I'll take a fire covenant. I could see that being a, a very reasonable card. Uh, I guess we're just taking Gix here. I don't see Burgie doing anything special for us. Wow, Collective Brutality came back. I, I had a feeling one of those cards might. I was hoping it'd be the Atali. But yeah, I'll take Brutali. Oh, Mask Arm, sure. That's fair. That guy, I can board that guy in along with Damnation and Mizium Orders. So this is 23 right here, actually. Right. I, I obviously there are some some differences. I'm just saying it's similar because you're paying life to to get rid of creatures. Dark Ritual is actually fairly interesting here. We don't have Entomb, though. Still, going like turn two, Shouldered or Grief seems pretty decent. Also, Duretti pretty decent. I want to take the Dark Ritual here. That's fascinating. I think we can probably cut Copter. I don't think we have enough creatures to really take advantage of that. Oh, wow. Graven Karn's tabling was fantastic. Um, so we have 12 creatures, but let's... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six of them cost five or more. <laughs> so we only have six creatures down here. Three of them cost three or less, so that's not great for Copter either. Which means you only have, really, Prowler, Bowmaster, and Voidwalker to crew with. Woodfall is reanimate or sneak attack or through the breach. Let's take this tendrils. There's nothing I there's nothing I get greater joy out of in life than hate drafting storm cards on the on the wheel. Thank you. Oh, I'll take a kite sail freebooter. Hell of a dude. Thank you for the sub, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate you. I think this is the deck. Even a soul transfer. Our, even our sideboard's insane. We have like Liliana, Soul Transfer, Fire Covenant, Snuff Out, Damnation, Massacre Worm, <clears throat> Kite Sail Freebooter, Collective Brutality. Like if these red cards weren't so like deck defining, I could see even not playing red, but 
That seems silly. And we got force fixing lands. That's fantastic. No, don't go down there. Come up here with everyone else. Sort by color. Okay, fantastic. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. Still seven red sources. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I think we can go eight, four, just because you do want to have double red for sneak attack. <laughs> like these are the only cards <laughs> that don't even go with our deck. And they're both, they're both still black. And we can cast one of them off of Proving Ground, so that's cool. Wow, yeah, look at, this is like every black card in the cube right now. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see if this deck is, is getting a, oh my god, cancel! Someone, oh my god, thank god someone caught the forest from the life death. Dude, I always miss that. That makes me feel a lot better about the... The land distribution, actually. I like having that extra swamp in there. I mean, we could play life off Zayatora's Proving Ground, too. It's not It's not nothing. Like, if we have six lands, just attack with five one ones. So now we have to take wagers on whether this deck will absolutely crush or if we will get uh, unluckily destroyed by having awkward draws. I feel like we have enough consistency that it shouldn't be an issue. Like, we have discard outlets aplenty. We have Prowler, Bitter, Bitter Reunion. Um, I thought we'd have more than that, actually. Oh, because I thought, well, we have Demonic Tutor to get whatever we need. But um, yeah, I was actually, I was thinking we also had uh, the Scrapwork Mud. But I think that's still fine because you also want creatures in your hand. So, I don't know. I think it's, I think it's probably fine. Um, hello. Well, yeah, I can't tell if it was the if the one for us was from Woodfall Primus or from Life Death. Who who can say? Wait, what do you need Zealous for? I mean, it's just very because it's very good. That's like saying, what do you need Duress for? You know, <laughs> like it just it just wins games. Like, you just steal their Planeswalker and ultimate it. You steal their Planeswalker and activate it. You steal their creature and kill them with it. I mean, if you if you ever cast a, a Zealous Conscripts, that, that should answer the question for you. I will play first. Uh, this is, this is pretty juicy. What does Marsh Flats get here? Just a Swamp now? Oh, it gets a uh, Blood Crypt. That's pretty good. Bitter reunion. I trophied one time beating every opponent by casting a zealous and ulting their walker. Yeah, I mean that's a that's a that's a vintage cube goal right there. <laughs> oh yes, five hunters. Oh good, a mox, a mox emerald. Oh, all right, that's fine. Okay. Let's hit one fatty so that next turn we can do the deed. Okay, that's that was just another land and another reanimate spell. Come on. Come on, don't don't do me dirty like this. We have everything we need. Mm, that's also fine. None of these things are let's let's just top deck an Ulamog right now. Ula Mog, Ula Mog, Moggy Woggy Ula Blood Crypt. That's not what we wanted to see. <sighs> it's awkward. All right. I mean, we have more action cards than this. We've drawn one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lands and one, two, three, four spells. So, you know, this is how it goes. <laughs> I, I just have to keep telling myself, it's not a representation of the deck. This is a very interesting double green card off of Mox Emerald Godless Shrine Badlands. I'm just playing this to thin out our deck a little bit. Ooh. 
<laughs> Okie dokie. Artichokey. Buddy, you don't even know what you're getting yourself into here. Oh. Sun Titan is fascinating. If we hit like a reanimate, we just get a Sun Titan. Oh, they're just going to do it? <laughs> sure. Sun Titan with no targets is very fascinating. Huh. Well, I do like that. Trigger. I just want to have yourself a merry little Christmas. I mean, we can kill Liliana, but I think we're just attacking their face here because if we if we go at Liliana, then that's what they sacrifice. So this way they could sacrifice, like, something else that's not as good. Agur. Mere Battle Sphere is pretty decent. They're also giving us a, a lot of good things to discard here, but we'll likely be discarding a land um, so that we don't No. Um, because if we discard Battlesphere, that's what Corpse Dance is going to hit. I guess it doesn't matter. We, we're going to death the Archon and then we're going to give it haste with Bitter Reunion next turn. That's the goal. That's fine. Actually, it might just be Mirror Battle Sphere. Um, because then we can do both. Yeah, I like that. We're not going to cast Mirror Battle Sphere. Let's get him out of here. All right. So now we can. I mean, getting rid of the Liliana while the Sun Titans on board is not ideal. No blockers. I don't. Ha I don't have any blockers. All right. So let's see if this turns any better. Him to Torok. Oh, they have no cards in hand. Sure, let's do. Oh, I don't want a corpse stance though because we can't. Then we can't give haste. Death. Good old Archie Archon. Beautiful. Um, let's give it old haste. Now they have to get rid of Liliana or Sun Titan. Oh, I guess we just attack their face. Yes. I guess they just die. I guess like a bunch of Archon triggers in an Archon attack is uh, is more than you need, I guess. Okay. Well, that's... I wasn't even... Dude, I literally wasn't paying attention to their life, so I was just trying to figure out what they had on board. Yeah, so I guess the six... It's not a mustache rake. It's a back... I get this. This is literally a question to every stream. It's a back scratcher that I ordered from Amazon. It came in a pack of three for like six bucks. And it extends... So you can do a little scratching, but really I just like playing with it because it's satisfying. And mostly I use it to comb my little beard too. So it does it all really. It's very efficient. Um, let's sort by mana value here. <clears throat> yeah. So apparently six from the Archon attack, three from the trigger, three from the other trigger, three from the other trigger and three from the other trigger. Um, is a lot of damage. 
that's 18 and i guess they were at five so what did they gain three from <coughs> who knows archon is a broken magic card of course it's in a modern horizon set um i actually don't mind damnation We did not see a ton of creatures this would affect. We saw two, two, three toughnesses and a sun titan. So I do think damnation's probably going to be a little better than some of those, perhaps. I mean, the only mana we literally saw no mana dorks. We saw Sylvan carry added, which which fire covenant does not hit. So I don't want to make an assumption that like they're playing like five colors. So I'm not, I don't want to assume that they're playing a bunch of one mana, mana dorks because they could easily be playing talismans and Sylvan carry added when they're, when they have such a deep mana base. I might just take out corpse dance here. Uh, yeah, this seems fine. Demonic Tutor is just the best card in your deck, you know? So we just figure out what we need. Tomorrow's my first day back in the office after three and a half years. Jesus Christ. Dude, fucking employers who force you to, to stay rem to not be remote is are fucking antiquated and absolutely terrible. Just terrible. Like, clearly three and a half years, things were working remotely, so why would you change it? We're losing all this money on our office space. All right, buddy. Am I so out of touch? No, it's the children who are wrong. It's the remote workers who are wrong. Oh my god, are they going to discard something fat and we get to... Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> that got so exciting. Excited? I didn't get exciting. I've always been exciting. Voidwalker seems pretty good against them. I hope they can't kill it. See, like this is what I mean. Like they have no green creep. They have no green mana right now. I don't think green is their main color. As your official HR person of the stream, I totally agree with you. <laughs> oh Lord. Oh, fascinating. I'm fascinated. No blocks. Red. I don't really want to discard anything. I also don't want to tutor for anything. Like, I think next turn we could tutor for, like, him to Torok... And then play it and then activate Dothy Voidwalker. Yeah, I don't want to worry. I don't really want to waste the waste to reanimate on a shielded here, though. I'd, I mean, that, that's a. I would rather just play Ophiomancer and then next, next turn naturally cast Shieldred. I mean, do we just attack here? Yeah, we're just attacking. Give me that snake. Ofo man, sir. <laughs> Solid. He's he's speaking in riddles. Thank you. Oh, white on gold. Thank you for the for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Not to mention I have to get up an hour and a half early. So the fucking downsides that come from like not working remote are unreal. There are like so many. I can't poop in my own toilet. I can't take a shower in the middle of the day if I want to. I can't go do my laundry. I can't make my own lunch. I can't do chores on my breaks. Like 
I can't let the dogs out. I can't watch a watch our watch our kids if we have kids. You know, there's so many things you just can't do, and then you get an, an hour and a half of um commute time sucked away every single day, and it's just exhausting and stupid. Like you're just wasting everyone's time. Thank you. Uh, let's go. Well, let's play Himothy. Oh, Mark, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back, my dude. What did we get? Oh, 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 I can't even cast this fast enough. Oh, <laughs> pretty, pretty. Oh my god. Oh my Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, I'll just cast this guy for the hell of it, right? Um, I guess we're getting rid of your crucible. Wow. That's a thing right there. Um, strain of the creature, planeswalker, none. Wow, they're still in it though. <laughs> they're like they're still they're still playing. They're still chugging along. So, their two cards have to be really good, right? Oh yeah, killing the snake actually would have been significantly better than uh, not doing that. Smart. I I I was overwhelmed with value. Okay. I'm very curious what this could be. Do I have like an Ulamog in a, in a shallow grave without Ashen Rider? Okay. I mean, you can't get rid of Ulamog here because he's indestructible. All right. Uh, I will let you know what cards I find neat. That's not how that... Oh, it's exiled. It exiles it. Never mind. I'm stupid. That is that is a thing you can do. I mean, we're still in really good shape, though. This is fascinating. Wow, that was actually pretty decent. That was a very decent recovery. I forgot this guy exiled. Me no, me no smart. Um... This costs nine. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's that's not that's not good enough. So if we attack, they just block here for obvious reasons. And then we they they take two, three, four, five, six, <clears throat> but then we just get to play shoulder and they have one card. Like, I think we're still totally fine here. We could also Dark Ritual, Bitter Reunion, discard, reanimate, and play Shieldred. What does that leave us with? Seven? We have seven mana, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, Reunion is two. That leaves us with five. So, if we hit, like, Zealous Conscripts, we probably just win on the spot, right? We could also just discard Shieldred and cast Reanimate. But then again, we're not going to have anything better in our hand here, so. Or in the graveyard, rather. Um. Also, one thing we can do is reanimate Dothy Voidwalker so that when this guy dies, we can bring it back. Yeah, let's get rid of the ritual. Um. Maybe it's shoulder. I don't know. That doesn't seem correct. I think it might still be reanimate. Because if we don't get anything, we can just play shoulder and cast it. That seems fine. Oh, that's interesting. 
All right. Um, and let's go get Blood Crypt. Give Shielder a flash. Nice. Whatever. So they're definitely going to block here. So this guy dies. Oh, I guess they could block here, but then Shouldered lives. Like. Like, I don't care. If you block either of these, they both live against your Ashen Rider. Yeah, that's fine. So now you're just taking more damage by doing this. You're taking 11 here. And you still only get to kill one creature. Yeah. Get rid of... It's got to be a Tali, I assume. Yep. Ashen Rider was a solid recovery after our... Our Atali into Ulamog. Jeez. Alright, so they're going to two... They cannot draw any extra cards this game, and they have two cards in hand. Okay, that, that'll do, pig. Oh, and we would have just threw the breach to Archon next turn, so that would have that would have been pretty good as well. All right, well, I am satisfied with the outcome of that match. Sweet deck. Hope it wins. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. I will play first. I will keep this beautiful hand. Through the breach, sneak attack, demonic tutor, all cards that can that can take advantage of a a mogger. Big mogs, check it and see. We're playing old razor juice. <laughs> Razor juice. You're not ready for the razor juice. Oh boy. Oh boy. My wife bought Sunny D Seltzer. And I kept singing the Sunny D jingle. Dude, we had some in our fridge, too, and I kept singing it, too. So, you are not alone. <clears throat> it is going to burn your throat. Oh, sure. Two cards. Oh, a Toxic Deluge. <laughs> All right. All righty, then. <laughs> Dismember this guy. Wow, that's pretty good. Thought Seize. Grief Bowman. Ulamers, Mogarinos, Griefers. Okay. I guess we're just attacking here. None of these cards feel like they're worth sacrificing this fine gentleman for, you know? You know what? I love Mirage lands. I'm not a big fan of Kamigawa lands, but even worse is these lands together. Combined. This guy. I will cancel it. I have a cancel. <laughs> oh. They did not, in fact, have a cancel. Oh, fascinating. 
are we playing standard? Modern? Are we playing modern? Hey, thanks for putting this in the garbage can for me. Let me take a gander at your little old hand. If there's something good in here and they don't have a way to disrupt this, like, we're going to be able to get it back with the Voidwalker. <clears throat> They're thinking it over. Think it over, buddy. Oh no, they're gonna they're gonna take action. Brazen bar or this guy. Hmm. Fascinating. Uh I mean I feel like that's kind of fine. Oh. Your own grief. An Ophiomancer and a tri triplicate Titan. I guess we'll get rid of the grief. Because you can just cast that next turn and that's annoying. I mean, Ophiomancer is also fairly annoying, but you have to double block to kill Grief, and we can just kill your Ophiomancer, so that's fine. Sure. And then a Swamp, got it. Well. Are we trading Grief for Ophiomancer? That's the question. We are indeed. Well, I'll just pass here. Tenacious. Under D. And Palantir. Very nice. Very nice. I will put whatever you get in the graveyard because then it actually goes... Oh, there doesn't. You mill or X is... Uh, draw one? No. Light steel. <laughs> uh, that was a good one. <clears throat> that was, in fact, a good one. Uh huh. Hana da 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 da. Scooby da ba Attack with this guy. All right, so Titan just kills them next turn and they're in top deck mode. I like it. This doesn't have, oh, it does have trample, so that's pretty good. Uh, we will not be milling them. Have them draw one, yes, you may draw it. And now I will shoot you. Oh, we just won the game. All right. <laughs> All right. Seems good. So they're also reanimating things. That's good to know. <clears throat> kind of like collective brutality for that reason. They also have a bunch of creatures that collect collective brutality can hit as well.
<laughs> All three of them legendary in their own right. Wow. <laughs> well, that's so wholesome. So wholesome. Was Neon Tokyo here? Did Neon Tokyo leave? Maybe he wasn't. Maybe he was never here to begin with. I'll just play. You know what? I'll just play 41. Yeah, okay. We got a discard outlet and a death. And we got it through the breach. So we got a bunch of the goods here. Fantastic. We take reanimation through the breach. Discard outlet. Grief itself. So that I can turn to death it. That would be cool. Take that grief. They're never taking grief. They're going to take life death. If you had two Katie's on the battlefield, which one would you sacrifice? Oh, God. I'd have to ask them riddles to see which one was the real Katie. Yeah, they took life death. Look at that. See? Papa knows. It is a trap. Let's top deck an Ulamog so we can go <clears throat> discard Ulamog Shallow Grave. That's all we want to do. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> you got it. Discard Ulamog into the Shallow Grave. <sighs> oh, they got the Shallow Grave. Now we can't discard Ulamog to the Shallow Grave at all. All right. We know about that, so we're going to play... Next time we're just going to go Grief into Through the Breach, so... That presumes that in the next two turns we will have a good hit. A good, solid hit. I'm actually wondering if Una's Prowler should have come out because they also are trying to reanimate, and I don't want to give them an outlet. Frantic Search. They're going deep. First off. Oh, sorry, that was loud. There's a lot of things going on. They discarded two swamps with their frantic search. Okay, so they have one card in hand. Now they have no cards in hand. Okay. Boy, they really played around our grief there. That's <laughs> fantastic. I'm not sure if that was for the best or not. I mean... Yep. Done. All right, so next turn, whatever we draw can come, come shooting in. Let's hope it's a 12 damage Archon of Cruelty. Because they're in top deck mode right now. They have Shell Dock, but they're five cards away from a Shell Dock. Uh, I don't actually want to block this guy and put him in your graveyard, because that just gives you something to do, and I can't block Grief, so... Easy decisions all around. <clears throat> Did draw something. Let's hope we don't draw land. How about that? We boarded into 41. That's interesting. Uh, let's keep a second black up, I guess. Oh, we're so close! Okie dokie. Um, 
Yeah, I'm just going to attack and uh, take six, I guess. <clears throat> and then if they don't top deck something, then Archon of Cruelty just... Oh, they, they're dead. <laughs> That's the end. It's your daddy, your cruel little daddy. All right, that was the end of that. 4-0. Seems good. Cruel daddy's taking him to town. Archon of Cruelty was definitely the MVP this draft. So, that's cool. More like that's cruel. Archon of Cruelty, am I right? <laughs> cool. Because it was cool. Do you get it? I replaced cruel with cool. Because it was cool. Archon of cruelty. Cool. So cool. I will... Yeah, this is a keeper. It needs some work, but you know what? Who doesn't, right? Fascinating. Cruelty is not cool. Be nice. He's right. <clears throat> it's true. I mean, you get you could either choose life death or or this one. Let's get a proving ground. Okay, so we drew mountain. We want to make sure I keep the the cards that we draw to the right so that they don't get any free info. You know, <clears throat> although they don't know about any more lands, so it doesn't really matter what. Whoa, biscuits. Dark Ritual one time. Give me that Ritual one time. Any land also plays Sneak Attack. So Ritual or Sneak Attack. Ritual or, or land. Of which we have 13 lands in Ritual. So 14 total cards in our 30 card deck. Virtually 50-50 shot. <clears throat> you taking two? Oh, they did. Brutal. Okay. Turn my mancer into a snake, an elk. Oh, you just made a food. Give me that shallow grave. That's not what I was looking for. That's terrible. 50 50 shot. Cool. It's 50 50. I still can't get it. Unreal. I just wanted a land. That's really all I wanted. All I wanted was a Pepsi, just one Pepsi. No one wants a Pepsi. That is not the preferred beverage. Okay, well, we got that one. <clears throat> So, work hard. Pepsi is ad bad. <laughs> yeah, she's so she's so aggravated by it that she can't even. Let's keep hitting. Oko. I kind of don't want to just run a sneak attack out there into their five untapped mana. Tell them what happened today. Oh, we were going to a restaurant and she was like, do they have Coke products? And I was like, uh, I don't know. It doesn't say on the menu. And so she called them just to make sure they had Coke instead of Pepsi because she wanted to mentally prepare themselves. Oh, you're going to take my sneak attack? That's actually brutal. Had I predicted Vendillion Click, which is like the least likely of cards I would have predicted here, I definitely would have played sneak attack. 
it's unfortunate. <laughs> Hand is a lot worse without the sneak attack. However, if we draw like a discard outlet, Shallow Grave gets very good. It also exiles at the beginning of the next end step, so that's not even that great. Man, there's so many. <sighs> I wish this just. I wish this just sacrificed it. Why you gotta exile it? Why you gotta do that? Let me check out. Let me check out Loki and Marvel Snap that was released today. What do you do, Loki? Check it out. Yeah, buddy. Replace your hand with cards from your opponent's starting deck. Give them negative one cost. Oh, wow. That is that is mischievous. Wild. Wild. Should we play Voidwalker first? Yes, definitely. Why don't they attack with their? See if we if we if they didn't have Vendelink like to this turn we could have played uh, sneak attack and activated sneak attack however they could also have a counter spell they could have just not cared about uh shielded so that when they when i cast it they're like let's I'll let it resolve and then i'll take the sneak attack wow that's rude all right well <clears throat> how about a through the breach can we through the breach graveyard's not looking so hot right now Create a food. You got it. I feel like my opponent is two players. It's Oko and, and whoever they are, DS Geller. So, you know. That's a guy, isn't he? Oh, boy, that doesn't do anything. But if we get a discard outlet, we are rocking and rolling. I don't know why they're not attacking with Vendillion Click here. Sure. I'm seriously wondering if like they if I just should have played sneak attack. They had Vendillion click. I don't know why they didn't just like it doesn't make sense. They knew I had sneak attack because they saw it with Inquisition. So I don't know why they didn't rip it out of my hand during my draw step that turn. Unless they like just didn't have stops set correctly. So they they did it at the first chance they got, which is why they did it with like shoulder it on the stack. I don't, I don't know. Anyway. Oh, good. They do have Fallen Shinobi. Wonderful. I mean, all of our good cards are in our hands, so. <laughs> yep, you got it. <laughs> nice. Dub Swamps. Enjoy. Now I don't have to draw those. Fantastic. Discard Outlet or Through the Breach is what we're looking for here. duress <sighs> not ideal it's gonna be land land vendillion click watch force of will soul transfer vendillion click I actually think it might be force of will I 
could have also force of willed this. So that's interesting. Like soul transfer, I don't really care about. Whereas force of will is actually kind of a pain. Thanks, Grandma. I guess we're just passing here. I don't really feel like... All right, Soul Transfer and Vendelian click in hand. They don't have an enchantment, right? This is just an artifact? Yeah, good. Good, good, good. I feel like we're a little behind here, but I think Oko puts you uh, on the back foot every single game you play him against against him. Play him against him. Sure. I mean, I have to assume you take Shallow Grave or nothing because none of these other cards are very, very good. Oh, 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 the Shallow Grave's gone. <laughs> I got so excited. I'm like, that's it. That's the discard outlet we need. They're going to kill the Snake Token so that they can get in there with Fallen Shinobi. Just for a turn. Yep, that's exactly what we thought they'd do. Um, five, six, seven, eight. I'm just taking eight here. I, I throwing this guy away does not really. Grave Titan, that's pretty good. <laughs> oh Lord! All right, well, Zealous conscripts. And let's go to the next game. Okay, so they're playing a bunch of nonsense. Fallen Shadow Weave and Dillion Click, Grave Titan. Let's bring in Collective Brutality again. I feel like our draws are just super awkward and I definitely should have slammed. Oh, uh, I guess they had Force of Will. That's what they had. So if we were going to play... Yeah, okay, so if we were going to play Sneak Attack, they would have forced it. But since we didn't, then they just Vendillion clicked it, which makes sense. <clears throat> yeah, I don't see any, any issue with that. Massacre Worm didn't see much. Like, we just saw, like... Vendillion Click and Oko, really. Like, that's literally what won them the game. Little microscopic eyebrow bug pictures. I don't think so. Uh, maybe we actually play Vampire Hex Mage here just to get rid of an Oko if they bring it. Well, no, they didn't have to pitch the click. They could have just paid for it. I'm pretty sure they had five mana at that point. Maybe. I mean, either way, they would have they would have done what they had to do to get rid of sneak attack for sure. 
but it might have been nice if they were going to get rid of it anyway with v-click like if they're going to get rid of it with v i don't know I, I don't know i don't know if that's correct if your goal is to get rid of it just v-click me during my draw step and get rid of it Because you open yourself up to being too, like you two for one yourself. If you play force, if I, if you let me play it, and then force of will it with having to pitch a card. Fascinating. I don't know. Una's Prowler can probably go. Yes, I will keep this hand. Pretty sure we're in Collective Brutality turn two mode. Turn three, we can sneak attack and like one, two, three, four, five. We can sneak attack and attack and activate is what I'm going for here. Oh boy. First turn, a little, little crackery now. Okie dokie. <laughs> oh God. Fantastic. How about this guy? Force of will. Watch him go down to... Yep. Days. Uh... Uh, deck was good until your opponent played subpar cards against it. <laughs> Fantastic, dude. Fucking Inquisition into days. Amazing. I mean, I would have been happier if you force of willed because then at least you're two for one yourself. Just like we did. But now... Wow, this hand was really good too. Dark Ritual into Sneak Attack. <sighs> well, I have a very uh, slim hope that we. Uh, I have a very slim feeling that we're gonna we're gonna win this game, but Any day now. It's only four cards. Probably won't even be relevant this game. You got 33 cards in your deck. Okay. Well, you could do something next turn. Most likely getting countered but you know force of will oh, I have a Magneta counter spell my whole deck is full of counter spells <laughs> I get these force of remand good times Play this guy. Click me, I dare you. No, no clicks. Fascinating. Sure. I mean, I'd rather them use Murderous Rider on Bowmaster, or on uh, Voidwalker, than on Shieldred, so... <laughs> you 
forceful, this guy? You got an answer for everything. You didn't play Murderous Rider, so you clearly got something here. Oh my god. 14 minutes to 20 minutes. Six six extra minutes wasted. It's a lot. Oh, we did it. We resolved. Good for you, little guy. Oh, uh, I'm gonna hold you back. They got all kinds of flash nonsense. Are they going to Snapcaster days? That would be amazing. No. Okay. Just a counterspell. Just a good old-fashioned cryptic command. Got it. All right. Well... I don't even know what this deck is. It, it's not bad. Play him as a man. Well, that guy sure is interesting, isn't it? <laughs> oh, Lord. You. Fat bastard, you. All right. Well, I guess we'll pass. Yeah, Days of Man, Cryptic Man, Force of Will. Seems like they just took all the counters and drafted multiple colors around. Well, it's not Fallen Shinobi. They have five cards. We have two. One of them is a Woodfall Primus. The other is a Shallot Grave. No. Oh. I see. Well, that's not what we wanted you to do. <laughs> okay. Okie dokie. Oh, they didn't attack. Fascinating. Grief. Oh, Fractured Identity and Fallen Shinobi. Wow. Fantastic. Jesus. <laughs> I guess it's Fractured Identity. Holy shit. Yeah, I don't... I don't foresee us getting past this Liliana of the Veil Oko... Fallen Shinobi situation. Plus Liliana so I can discard Woodfall Primus. And then I can get rid of both your Oko and your Liliana in one fell swoop. Oh, no, I can't because Shallow Grave Exiles. That's right. I guess I can attack them. Target. Yep. Look at this. Look at this desperation, uh... Um, block here, block here. They're definitely not letting you fall in Shinobi, so that's for sure. Sure, just hard cast that guy, you got it.
<laughs> Okie dokie. Wonderful. Yeah, we're just going to concede here. This is just not a not a fun matchup. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Put Make sure you put a bunch of Fs in the chats to pay your respects to that absolutely bullshit matchup. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.